Well, hey, everybody, it come of a egg making a video here today to go over the pickups that I got from the card show last weekend. Uh, a couple of things with the two case break that my buddy did of uh, 2018 Panini Prism. So we'll go over that, uh, some of the great pickups, some trades we did. But first and foremost, uh, tribute to the man. Passed away less than 24 hours ago. Willie McCovey, uh, honestly, one of the all-time greats. Uh, I believe he was 80 years old when he passed. Uh, Rookie of the Year, the National League MVP Award winner, six-time All-Star, 500 Home Run Club member. I, I can go on and on, but uh, really just a great, great ball player, great man. Uh, my aunt is kind of credited for helping getting me into sports cards, and her favorites were uh, Willie Stargell and McCovey. So I had an early appreciation for the man and... Uh, just want to say thank you for the memories, rest in peace, and, uh, you know, uh, baseball uh, lost one of the all-time greats. But anyway, um, back to uh, some pickups, some things like that. I want to go over. Uh, let's see. You know I won that Saquon Barkley RPA, uh, and I don't really collect football cards, you know, except for a, a couple of dudes like Namath, my all-time favorite. Um, well, I do somewhat PC. I PC uh, Alejandro Villanueva. So, it's the one guy of the current football crop of dudes that I collect. I got that from the uh, case break. Oh, by the way, Jack Frost, I told my dude, and he's going to be putting those uh, Chicago Bears aside for you. So, we'll definitely work something out on that. But uh, in the trade that I did, I traded away my Saquon Barkley RPA for this. Joe Namath. Get it in there, numbered, out of 10, autograph, shiny, shiny, Panini Prism, graded a Gem Mint 10. So it was a pretty easy choice for me. Would I rather have a, a hot young rookie for the Giants or the greatest Jet of all time in a one-of-one Pop One collectible. So I got that for the PC. So that was a very good trade for me. I enjoyed that. I love collecting Joe Namath autographs, and they're not that expensive. They're really not. Uh, so that was one. Uh, another thing that I picked up at the show, well, actually, it's not the show. Uh, this was uh, the uh, relic that I pulled out of that box. I forgot to show the relic on my recap. So I got actually a pretty decent dude, a pitcher, Tristan DeNightaway, uh, 79 out of 99. If you get the movie where that joke is from, let me know. Uh, but Tristan McKenzie, very nice. Got his uh, game-used jersey there, so that was kind of cool. Uh, what else? I'll pick this up. This was a, a purchase. Most of the stuff that I did at the uh, show was in trade. I always tell you, bring a big trade box to the shows you go to. But anyway, uh, this is the complete sticker set from 1985 WWF Tops Stickers. So I got my man, Junkyard Dog, you know, Wendy Richter, Lou Albano, Iron Sheik, um, blah, 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 Jimmy Snuka, a couple of jobbers, uh, Sheik, Sheik, Albano, Hogan, Hogan, Richter, Putsky, JYD. So got them all here, got the entire set. I had the base set, you know, just the regular cards, but uh, the sticker set goes for more than the base set does. So I was not able to pick that up. So glad that I did. Uh, what should we go over next? Another big trade that I made. Again, you wouldn't believe that I don't collect uh, football cards, but I did bring a big box of cards. Not a big box, like uh, the one one size bigger than this, to the uh, show just full of PSA graded cards, hot rookies, autos, game used jerseys, you know, hits, nothing but hits. And I traded away the entire box for this cool Star Wars archives card. This is the autograph you get one per box. This is of Finn, the actor portraying Finn. But anyway, uh, this is my first Star Wars Recollection Archives 2018 card. I dig it, got it as part of the trade, so uh, yeah, I am a big Star Wars fan, but only the first three movies. Then, I got two in the pink. I'm talking about Braves Prospects. What did you think? I got a sweet Ozzy Ozzy Albies! And a really cool Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, in their pink refractors. So nice and 
stinky pinky. So I got those. Those I'll probably sit on for a while. Also, uh, tremendous grading candidates. I would not be surprised at all if these guys uh, came back Gem Mint 10s. Uh, obviously, you know, the prices you see on these, I didn't pay that. It was part of a trade. And then this card, if you've seen my long-forgotten, unmanned... Uh, what the heck is that social media garbage? Instagram. <laughs> Insta, as the kids call it. Uh, you've seen this card. My friend pulled this. Actually, Ricky B. Ricky, you know him. Pulled this in a case. A case break, as you see. It's a numbered four of five. Emmett Smith on card autograph, but it's a, uh, you know, reclaim card. It's a buyback card. So this was from the junk wax era of 1991 Pacific. So it was like those math flash cards. So the unfortunate thing is, even though this is like a 2018 card or 2017, it's, it's an 01 card. So when it went in for grading, it got an eight. So, you know, this terrible 50 cent you know, junk wax era card graded in eight, but it is a buyback from 28, yeah, 2018 Pacific Classic. So I do have my first ever and only Emmett Smith autograph. This will go right into my PC next to uh, my Barry Sanders autograph and, uh, you know, just have one of those. So definitely happy to pick this up. Why am I taking this down? This is the prettiest card. This should go front and center. We'll get this right up here. All right, so got my Emmett Smith there via trade. Very, very happy about that. I picked up this for just a few bucks, uh, $3 to be exact, a rack pack of 1987 tops, and boom. Thought it was super cool. Unpunched tab here that is still a fully formed tab. Uh, figure, you know, hey, this could even be a trade material. I got uh, something here for Carter's kids. Uh, something here for uh, Tops 85 401, but really, that's the story right there. My guy, Lonnie Smith. If you don't know the story of Lonnie Smith, I'll uh, attach a great video in the description you need to check out, but I just thought this was really cool. You know, whether you're a Barry Bonds collector, a Gary Carter collector, or a weirdo Lonnie Smith collector like me, this was definitely worth my three bucks, so I'm definitely glad to have it. I will not be opening it. Uh, just uh, wanted to have it. It was a cool little pickup, so I picked it up. Uh, what else? We're going to do the cheapest stuff last. Okay, we're at seven and a half minutes. Uh, I went to a dealer's dime box. Yeah, big, you know, monster boxes and things like that in the dime box. And uh, for this show, he said, uh, hey, all the cards in my dime box are now 20 for a dollar. So basically turning it into a nickel box. I picked up 63 cards out of his nickel box. He said, that'll be $3. And so I want to show you what sitting at a table for the better part of an hour and digging through uh, lots of commons can get you for $3. So let me go through this quickly because remember, these are a nickel a card and a few of them are free. A wonderful, funny stand-up comedian, Jay Okerson, big Jay Okerson, or now medium Jay Okerson. Check him out. He's really funny, but not, you know... Kid friendly. Uh, Rudy. Got Rudy. I picked up a few football cards. Got Big Dick. Got Darren, uh, Deion Sanders. <laughs> Darren Sanders. Uh, Matty Ice. Some Drew Breezies. Of course, got a few Jets. Got to pick up my Jets. Shiny refractors of Geno Smith were a nickel. I mean, who's buying Geno Smith cards right now? Well, me, if they're a nickel and rookie and refractor. Look at Slim Young Mailman over here for a nickel. Come on, Daryl Strawberry, Rusty Cunts, uh, Bo Jackson, Bryce Harper, Bryce Harper. Let me go through these quicker. J.D. Martinez, J.D. Martinez, Gaddis rookie, Scherzer, 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 Posey, Hoskins rookie, Peterson rookie, Mejia rookie, Trout, uh, Avisel Garcia, regular and Chrome, Pujols. Ah, then the big sexy train coming through. Bartolo Colon. Look at this laziness from Tops this year. That's a leader's card, a regular card, and another leader's card. And they use the same picture of Big Sexy. What's up with that? Same picture. Three different cards. Same pic picture of a picture. Picture, 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 picture. Uh, Bartolo, Bartolo. Uh, Todd Helton, Todd Helton retiring. DD rookie card. DD Gregorius, and I will defend. I will defend until I'm victorious. Uh, Dalton Jeffries. Look at that smiling young kid. I believe he's uh, Greg Jeffries' son 
and named after Darren Dalton. Uh, pretty sure that's right. Uh, Glaber, uh, Justice Sheffield, Justice Sheffield. These were a nickel. Nick Gardner, Dylan Batances dances pantsless. Dylan Batances rookie card. Mariano Rivera, come on, for a nickel. Jeez. Jeter, Jeter. Andrew McCutcheon, which I believe is a short print or something. I don't know, maybe. Another Jeter. One of those Babe Ruth, like, reprint cards from a few years ago. And then Chris Davis. So, I mean, like, really, like, I would have paid three bucks for these two cards, you know? Uh, this Chris Davis uh, is a card I'd actually been looking for for a while. Didn't have it. Thought it was undervalued. But, yeah. So, yeah, three bucks got me that stack of cards. Very, very excited for that. Also picked up an Otani. This, this Gem Mint 10 Otani card, while not <laughs> uh, low numbered and uh, made a ton of, is a fairly iconic card. And they were going for about $15 in a Gem Mint 10. So I had to pick that up. So uh, thank you for watching. These are all my pickups from the card show. Rest in peace, Willie McCovey. I want to uh, tell you to, uh, I don't know, like, share, subscribe, whatever people like to say. Uh, be kind to each other. And remember, as always, it cometh a